Right now, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is asking the public to help identify this suspected rapist seen in this sketch. We bring you this neighborhood crime alert tonight on the 10 o'clock news. The man in the sketch is presumed to be armed and dangerous. News for Jack's reporter Eric Aubigny joins us now live from outside JSO headquarters with the latest. Eric. Yeah, investigators here at JSO headquarters say the man they are looking for is roughly six feet tall with brown hair and blue eyes. They say that during the time of this alleged incident, he was wearing black sweatpants and a black hoodie. This sketch of a suspected rapist is all there is to go on. When JSO issued a news release that included this sketch, there was no mention of when the assault happened and specifically where. The only location police provided was the area of Gate Parkway and I-295. When we pulled up a JSO crime map for that general location and then adjusted the parameters to search for crimes within a two-mile radius dating back to January, we found a list of reported incidents, but none of them were sex crimes. I, News for Jack's crime like... and safety analyst Lakeisha Burton says this could be a situation where police simply don't have enough information to give the public other than a report about an armed sexual assault and suspect description. So we don't know all the details that were provided to law enforcement from the victim in this case. So what they're doing is providing the information that was given, which is limited, in hopes that, you know, again, somebody may see this sketch and they possibly saw this individual come into a business or seen this person in the, a neighborhood. On one hand, although the sketch is all there is to go on, it's still a valuable investigative tool. Victims of this type of crime is so traumatic, and a lot of times they remember four to five facial expressions. So it's important for law enforcement to get that out. But on the other hand, this sketch could be anyone. So without an exact time frame and location of the assault, Anyone who looks like or closely resembles the person in this sketch could become a person of interest. But Burton says that's not always a bad thing. People tend to understand the why behind um, officers perhaps stopping them and questioning in them when they learn of this horrific crime that has happened. Of course, anyone with information about this alleged crime or the person in that sketch are urged to contact JSO. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.